Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. What's up, Rec Tech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. Do, do, do. Oh, is that my line? <laughs> Thumbs up. Which one? Which one's better? I don't know. You tell me. Which one's better? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, am I a little, am I a little foggy there, guy? Sorry, buddy. Is it still a little foggy or is it like crystal clear? Um, can like everybody see us? Look at that. Can they hear us? Get, get oh. off of me. Get off of me. I feel like I have Oh. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. So clean and clear now. All up in oh, my man. grill. We're going to get right on into it, guys. It is Funday Friday. Today is January 11th, episode 77. Can you believe it? It's crazy. We have done Funday Friday every Friday for the past 77 Fridays. That's wild. And Thanks. I said last time that I would figure out when the 100th episode of Fun Day Friday would be, and I lied. I do not know when that will be, and I will try to give that to you later. Um, <laughs> It'll be uh, 23 weeks from this Friday. It will be 23 weeks. If anybody out there can do that, or, or if, Jordan, if you feel like doing it later in the day sometime. Yeah, is that going to wind up around Master's Week? You, and you never know. It may be. Master's Week for everybody that doesn't know. We are here in Augusta, Georgia, and uh, golf patrons from all over the world come to beautiful Augusta just for this um, uh, uh, beautiful course and, and the weather that week is always perfect it could be really bad before or after but it seems like but the there's weather always comes one out. it always rains on thursday always or wednesday it wednesday or thursday it literally it always rains. rains you know you gotta ice those uh those trees and shrubs to keep them from blooming and that's yeah. right that's my, right. my super man super the 100th funday friday will be on june 21st oh that is exciting wow. that is exciting okay well prepare for a crazy thing uh, but we do want to tell you about our crazy awesome exciting announcement february 1st i just want to go ahead and hit that nail on the head uh, i want to let everybody know that we will be announcing something awesome and if you ever wanted to come direct tech or were thinking of planning to come to direct tech february 1st is the day to do it we're going to have awesome stuff going on all day we're literally going to be taking meat off of the grills every hour uh, every hour on the hour um, using literally everything that we have and then we will be um, announcing brand new products from Rectech Girls as well. So I definitely want to hit what you. What are they going to be, Jay? Um, so th there's going to be... Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Ooh. All right. Well, I, I guess that... Uh, and then also we also offer financing now. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you guys are in the market for a pellet grill, we would love for you to go over to rectechgrills.com and check out our financing tab. Uh, but last week, uh, we, well, this week we're going to be uh, <coughs> doing how to throw down a Tex-Mex Fiesta. Absolutely. I mean, we had so much fun. We went to, I mean, we left Italy and went to Mexico, it seemed like, yeah, immediately. Yeah. It, was, great, it was fantastic. Uh, great trip. So uh, we're going to do a bunch of tacos. We'll do, uh, you know, walk and all the sides and... Give you the ins and outs on how to make a, a taco throwdown. Absolutely. Last week we knocked it out of the park. Uh, we were in Italy, so we cooked mm -hmm. some chicken marsala, some creamy risotto, some portobello uh, mushroom Caesar salad. That was, oh, it was delicious. I uh, love that, those uh, portobellos. Today's National Arkansas Day. Arkansas. Arkansas. We love you. So, everybody out there in Arkansas, if you can uh, let us know that you're watching, we would love uh, to call you out. Um, now, uh, this is Fun Day Friday, and we have four 10 minute segments on Fun Day Friday. All of those segments get added together and then uploaded onto YouTube. And if you watch that video, you can learn how to actually win something from us. So, last week's winner was actually Mr. Barry Hill with the correct answer of 37 minutes and 26 seconds. Now, hey, there you go, Barry. Yeah. Uh, slow clap going. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Congratulations, Barry. Uh, we will email you, so do not call us. No? No. We're not going to do that? Okay, so oh, email Madeline yep. at rectechrules.com. Sorry, I'm still Matador. coming off of the Matador day. She looks forward uh, to these high. emails. Yeah, so uh, I want you to email yeah. Madeline, M A D E L I N E, at rectechrules.com to claim your Rectech prize pack. Um, but again, uh, today's menu is going to be uh, some chicken thighs, yep. uh, Tex Mex mm -hmm. style, uh, some skirt steak. Some beautiful ocean ocean perch. Yeah, we'll make some fish tacos. Ooh, some some pinto beans. Yep, delicious Spanish rice, and we'll be making some uh, fajita veggies and some dirty uh, queso and some dirty queso as well. We can't get enough queso around here. No, uh, it seems like the last two the last weeks we've eaten like three hundred pounds of queso. Yeah, we're a bunch of fatties walking around here. We love it. We um, eat queso for breakfast. <laughs> but right now, uh, chef's going to tell you guys what we did for our skirt steak marinade. Okay, so in here I have a large 
Spanish onion that I've taken to a grater. We've got uh, a couple jalapenos. because the grater that he used right yeah, here? We like it spicy. And I go on the uh, the chunky side. Oh, I thought you wanted the small side. No, yeah. I like the chunky side. Right, I like a little I like a little chunk when it comes to that texture. sort of stuff. Yep. A couple jalapenos. I don't seed them. I literally just grab the whole jalapeno and go to town. Now, when you say grab the whole jalapeno and go to town, Chef, what do you mean? So, seeds and everything. I just grab the uh, whole jalapeno, jalapeno, and uh, grate it up and call it done. Very cool. Uh, about a half a bunch of parsley, and then today we added in... About a cup and a half, two cups of avocado oil. Ooh, so why we're, we're, uh, avocado oil? So we are using avocado oil as a part of our um, stir-fry fajita vegetables. Avocado oil has an amazingly high smoke point. It also so is perfect chocolate. for the Rectech Matador. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's also uh, full of monounsaturated uh, fats, which are really good for you. And it's a very neutral tasting oil. So something like that, like olive oil that is a lower smoke point and a very pronounced flavor and great for salad dressings and dippings and things like that. Uh, this avocado oil is going to be very neutral and uh, cool. the flavors of the jalapeno and the onion are going to come out pretty good. And then we're going to jack this up with some heifer dust. Jack it up, yeah. Mm. You guys can check out heifer dust at rectechgirls.com under the rubs and sauces tab. Yep. Uh, this is our number one seller. Uh, it's a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, chili powder, and onion powder. Good stuff. It's all the good stuff that you want to everything. It's great on everything, guys. And then we're going to bring it uh, some citrus out of here. And I'm a, you bought that whole lime. So add it. Add the zest. That's this right, is going to give you, people were eating those, uh, we had some guests from the Columbia County Youth Chamber Leadership something. Did I get Columbia that right? Columbia County Youth Chamber of Commerce, Commerce Youth, Youth Leadership, Leadership Program. There you go. Mm. We had uh, 36 of them youths out here. And, um, we did a fiesta for them, and they love the guacamole, and yep. the secret to our guac, which we will make later, is going to be uh, some lime zest. So we'll hopefully, add... uh, Chef Greg and my and, and myself, uh, hopefully our uh, stop on that tour was the best. Hopefully they liked it. We fed them. You know, <coughs> they got them, lunch. Yeah, we let them do it. We let them pull their phones out, let them do what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So they had, you know, we were the cool kids. Always. Oh. Been cooler if we had a... One of those hoverboards, but you know. yeah, no hoverboard. Kids love hoverboards nowadays. So this is gonna be our this is gonna be our marinade. So we're just gonna take. Uh, you wanna do it in a bag? Yeah. Let's do it. Chef tip. Uh, you know, you can throw this in a bag. Oh, we might need to. Nope. Oh no, it's sliding. It's sliding one in there. It's slippery. It's slippery. <laughs> so we'll add about a third of that in there. And you can let this sit for a couple hours. I wouldn't go longer than like four hours because there is some acid in That's that, right. that uh, marinade. And it'll start to almost cook. But you want to give that bag a judge. That is a technical word. Give that bag a judge, a squeeze, a mix. What? Yes, a judge. Yeah. Comment down below if he knows what a, he knows what a judge is. Okay? But that's, that's judging. That is expert level judging. Mm. Now, uh, Chef mentioned uh, something about uh, the citrus. You don't want to uh, leave this in here too long with the citrus. Uh, I've seen a lot of folks using pineapples. Pineapples, uh, great. And, and doing things like that, but mm. I've, uh, they, they, they're always talking about the texture. After they get done cooking, the texture is very weird. Um, and, and me, just, you know, if you guys are out there wondering about why the texture is weird, it's because of that citrus in there as well. It's right? almost going to cook or pickle that meat over time. Now, if you're not a huge fan of lime, cool. You could grate a kiwi in there. Oh, uh, did you just say a kiwi? I did. There are from New Zealand. There are natural tenderizing agents in kiwi. There's mm -hmm. drug Florida. Um, now. And again, we made that bulgogi pork a couple months back, and that kiwi did a great job tenderizing that pork. But, but again, it really did. That's it, right. You can add that kiwi in there. You're not really going to taste kiwi. It's just going to give you a nice sweetness to it. It's going to um, be absolutely friggin' delicious. And guys. then another side that we have are some pinto beans. So make sure when you get a bag of beans, pick through your beans. Here's why. You're gonna find rocks. That's right. You're gonna find sticks. You might find some weird stuff that aren't beans. So I carefully picked through these yesterday. Large clumps of clay that could have gotten hard as well. Um, and you know. we soaked these beans overnight in the fridge. Um, and then we gave them a good rinse before we soaked them. And that's gonna help these beans cook a little more evenly. Now, is there a perfect ratio bean to water or does it really matter? No, you, want, you wanna put a couple inches over the top. Um, because they will swell up a good bit. Exactly. So if you put too much water in there, they could absorb too much water. Or no, 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 no. You're good. It's okay, just so use, you're good. Use cold water. Uh, fill a tub up, put them in the fridge at least eight hours. If you go longer, hey, that's cool too. Um, but if you're making chili from scratch and using raw beans, make sure you soak your beans. It'll also help the beans stay together, not fall apart. If you don't soak your beans, they'll take longer to cook, um, and they'll tend to kind of break up and get mushy. Whereas oh, right. when you soak them, them right? they'll they'll be more apt to have more of a, a uh, 
full bean texture and the and Chef John, you know, he cooked uh, those black eyed peas. Uh, mm -hmm. He soaked his beans as well. And then last year, uh, for New Year's, we also cooked those black eyed peas. Uh, so you guys are familiar, you know, with soaking your beans. Just make sure you remember that. Um, we will be back at 12 o'clock on the dot, according to Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will be, uh, what are we be doing then? Uh, so we're going to be, uh, we're going to be grilling off our chicken. We're going to be cooking our, our chicken rice. thighs and doing our Spanish rice, mm -hmm. according to uh, And then our it's list not here. on there, but we're going to go ahead and get our dirty queso started Very by cool. cooking the uh, chorizo, our poblanos, and onions. All right, guys. So we'll be back at 12 o'clock. Thank you so much. It's Funday Friday. Do, do, do. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, 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 do. What? Go to Twitter. Yeah, guys, uh, go to Twitter. Rick Tech Lifestyle. Yeah. It's just your word. Do, do, do. Oh, Rick Tech Lifestyle. Yeah, see, that was me messing with your stuff. Like. I saw this. Got the temperature chart with that uh, trailblazer working. Ooh, right up. there. I think it's sitting at 540 degrees. 540 degrees. Let me show you the temperature chart of the stampede we turned it on a little while ago excuse me everybody got that new tin max that's a nice phone that, a nice phone it's a sick camera on that thing takes a wild pictures friggin awesome all from the uh, convenience from of my phone super cool rectech rules app uh, Trailblazer, Stampede, and Bull all run off of that Wi Pellet Wi Fi connectivity. So you could actually download the Rectech Grills app and connect your phone. You can turn your grill up, down, uh, off, or on. You can also monitor the two temperature probes that come standard on all grills. Um, so, but yeah, this is the uh, temperature probe uh, time chart for this one as well. So, and that app is literally the one stop shop for everything Rectech. Absolutely. You, you can links you to the store, right recipes, here. all sorts of stuff. Loads up very quick. Uh, you can search. You can also check it out. You can sign up to be an insider, which will allow you to win free stuff, uh, be first to know about exclusive content. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very cool. All the fun stuff. Yeah. We'll let Rachel take a picture of that. Yeah, uh, but the first thing we're going to do is work on this dirty case. We are. So. Or we call it Game Day Queso, Game Day Queso. on YouTube. Uh, uh, Ray and Stevie did a video on it. And this is honestly a blank canvas. If you got leftover brisket trim, you got pulled pork, you got smoked chicken bits, go for it. So I've got in oh. here a eight ounce uh, tube of chorizo, Boom. some poblano peppers, some Spanish tube. onion. Sorry, <laughs> you're good. And this is a super cool. This is a Lodge cast iron wok. Mm. So you get a couple of these, sit them on your grill and do individual stir fries and stuff. I love, 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 love cooking on cast iron yes. in our grills. It brings good flavor. Not out. only do you get great flavor, but great heat. It's fun. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna sit it on the bowl. And the Lodge brand is a great product. I mean, this is -tech -approved. indestructible. We'll just put it, boom, right there. Over here to the left, some of those beans we got a head start on. We've got uh, some jalapeno, onion, water in those beans, a little heifer dust in there. And again, these have been simmering for about an hour. You can see those beans haven't broken apart, but those are my favorite. Little pinner beans. We're also gonna get our chicken. We had that marinating um, for a little bit. And I love leaving the onions and the, the peppers yeah, kind of chunky because when they cook, they're gonna caramelize. Stop, they're gonna pick flavor. up great flavor. Amazing. And to really bring this over the top, we're gonna use that Joe rub. And uh, this is probably our spiciest rub. This is awesome. it, do you think it's spicier than the Dirty Girl? I do. Okay. So this, this, you know, because the ancho powder. Now, Dirty Girl is more of like a, a briny or saltier rub because it's got the Worcestershire powder and the horseradish powder. This with that ancho powder plus some thyme. You got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Cooking on a rectic, you, you're going to have time for days. All the time to do all this fun stuff that you'd rather do. Besides having to worry about, is your pit at the right time? Right. Chef, uh, why do you not tell a taco any of your secrets? I don't know. I've never really talked to a taco before. Because they're always spilling the beans. Oh! oh. Ah, I got Shoot. you on that one. 
<laughs> How we looking there? Pretty good? <laughs> that bed looks great, Chef. I tend to go pretty heavy on the on the rubs. Good hey, stuff. What kind of uh, Mexican food does Thor like? Oh, I actually know this one, but I'll... You'll, you'll save it for me? Yeah. A tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> zing, 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 zing! Bow, 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 bow. That's a bow, great bow. joke. Okay. You want to open up and stamp your for me so we can go ahead and put that? <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, we'll go ahead and get these grilled off. What grill is this, Chef? This is the RT590 Stampede. This is the mid-sized grill in our offering. Uh, we're sitting in full. We were right about 515 degrees before we uh, opened the uh, lid there. It is a brisk 45 in Augusta. It's chilly, baby. And uh, with where we are in the back of the warehouse for now, our Monday and Friday studio, if you will, it's dry. We're going to cook these off. And you see, guys, I like, uh, yeah, there's two sides to your chicken thigh. You know, there's the, the, the smooth side and then there's the rough side. I always like to throw the smooth side down first um, because the grates are heated up a little bit. They will put a little bit of uh, crispy char on the outside, give you some grill marks. Because uh, you eat your eyes first. And these are both the skinless sides. And that smooth side is going to be the skin side. And that more jagged rough side is going to be the bone side. So, again, if you're looking, you ain't cooking, keep it closed. Keep it closed. Close that thing, girl. Keep it closed. All right, so our Spanish rice, this is nothing. You can buy uh, bagged or boxed Spanish rice. There's some corn in there, some dried pepper. It's delicious. We're going to add um, about five cups of water. You're going to add water and not stock, Chef? Well, you know, you could add chicken stock, but there's already a good bit of seasoning in here. Um, you can add chicken stock, but, again, this is going to be just fine. There's some uh, natto in here. That's going to be a bit of nice yellow color. Anato is that yellow color that mostly comes with that Spanish rice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very yep. cool. I learned something. So this today. is going to be a 16.9 ounces, which is just over two cups. And you're using Rectech water, the best of the best. Yes, the Rectech brand, this Academy is, water. This if you are lucky enough to go to Rectech Academy, you got to drink this water for free, everybody. Straight from the glacier of Antarctica. Ray, kiss, kiss bought his, smoke Ray bought his own glacier just to bottle water for you guys. And again, we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up tight because we're going to steam that rice. And right before it's done, we'll let this go for probably about 25, 30 minutes. We'll open it up. We'll give the rice a fluff. And then we'll let it go for another five minutes or so. And it will pick up some good smoke. So again, look at all that room on there. You've got your beans. You've got your rice. You've got your queso. I can smell that queso already. You can already put that second shelf in there. And you can put meat on the bottom. And all the stuff on the top. <laughs> we got leaves falling from the ceiling. Leaves? It was, uh... <laughs> it's insulation. Love it. No, it's yeah. not. No, so, it's not. No, it's not. No. You can buy a queso ready to go, but we're going to jack Wait, we're not going to make it by hand? We're not. Hmm. The Rectech lifestyle right now, because they didn't have the other cheese, you adapt. Oh, yeah. Okay? I've never made queso by hand. I don't want to. I'm not going to lie to you. I know when I worked at Loco's <laughs> Grill and Pub, God bless them, in Athens, Georgia, I worked at the one here in Augusta. What they used to do is they used to get the big blocks of white cheese. Mm -hmm. They would cut them in squares. Okay, they would add a couple of jalapenos, yep. uh, and they would add just uh, just a little bit of seasoning, and they would just leave it uh, in one of those water baths for about an hour, and they would mix it up, mix it up, and then it would be done. That would be the queso. So you can actually find Mexican uh, melting cheese at the store. They were just out. I told you we've been making like 55 gallon drums yeah, of queso for the last couple weeks. I'm bloated um, from all the cheese. We've eaten a lot of cheese. So again, we'll uh, let this go. We'll render out that uh, chorizo. We'll let those papanos and onions get some good color, good texture, and uh, we'll add this in there. Now, if you have some chorizo and it's really greasy and fatty, I like leaving it in That's there. Kind That's of just me. Um, but if you want, you can drain some of that fat off. That's cool too. So the skirt steak. This is going to be your inside skirt, which is going to be the thinner of the uh, skirt steaks. Jody skirt. Your outside skirt steaks will be much wider and a little bit thicker. And you got to make sure you can look at the grain of skirt steak. It's really, it's, really it's thick. It's very obvious. So when we slice this, we have to slice it against the grain. Because if we slice it with the grain, it's going to be tough. So what we'll do is we'll actually snip these into taco length portions after we've cooked. And we will slice it and then uh, get them good and thin. And those are going to be some good tacos. And you can see how this one kind of changes a little bit. You know, it goes, you can see my finger here. Here's the grain. Here's the grain. Oh, and then it turns. And then here's the grain. Uh, so make sure you're always cutting against the grain always. at a 90 degree angle. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to hit that with some of our Dirty Girl. Dirty Girl, uh, available on Amazon. Uh, both flavors of Bloody Mary, uh, as well as the delicious uh, margarita mix. And then the only aged 
olive juice on the market. Literally the only aged olive juice you can buy out there. And is if you like martinis, girl. it's great, but I love putting it in salad dressings and yeah. marinades. It's got a great briny acidity to it. Good stuff. Oh, sorry, sorry hit, chef. hit the gimbal. Uh-oh. Seasoning up the tech. But I love uh, Dirty Girl as a base rub for steaks and stuff because it's got such a great flavor with that Worcestershire and horseradish Man, and that celery salt for me just like brings just, it home. I mean, that is, like, that that is my is favorite just... part about it is the celery salt. Mm. Not a huge fan of celery. I'll eat it, but I mean, I love the, the flavor of it, you know? So we can let that sit for a few minutes, let that, that rub tack in. Um, but when we come back... When we come back at, at 1230... 12 30, uh, woo! woo! We're coming back at 1230, everybody. Get fired up! Because we're going to make... We're going to finish off the queso, I know. We're going to make some freaking guacamole. Woo! Woo! Steaks are going on. Woo! Jody Steak. styling and profiling. Woo! Woo! I just got beef juice in my eye. <laughs> 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 no, no. What else? Wait, wait, wait. What we go? This is what we got going on. Ooh. Queso. Ooh. Okay. We got the beans Ooh. over here. And Chef just threw in. What the hell was this? Finish rice. Finish rice, baby. Sorry, I forgot about them already. Go. We got over here in the stampede. Look at them chicken. Oh. Woo! That's a whole lot of chicken. Woo! But. We will be going live on Twitter in literally right 10 now. seconds. Right now. 10, Ooh. 9, uh, 8, 7, Twitter. 6, 5, 4, uh, 3. Jordan, would you do me a solid and grab the ocean hey, perch out of the fridge? Hit the share oh, Hit the share oh, button, guys. Hit the share oh, button. Share it up. Uh, on that uh, post, if you're watching, hit that share button for us. Matt Lane, how are you doing, sir? What kind of magic do cows believe in? Super. What kind of magic do cows believe in? Moodoo. Oh! Thank you, Peggy Grimes. Thank you. What kind of mess do cows leave? <laughs> Moodoo. <laughs> I thought you were going to say bullshit. Oh. 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 Here's the line. Oh, it would have been, been good. There is Jordan Johnson. You guys go good. follow me at uh, John Dillon Sr. on Instagram. Ooh. Go follow me right now at John Dillon Sr. I'm about to make a post, just letting you guys Yee. know. I'm also on Facebook as Jody Flanagan, J-O-D-Y-F-L-A-N-A-G-A-N. -A -A also, Rec Tech Jody. I have two Facebook pages. <laughs> so much content. Greg, 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 how can they follow you? Okay, I'm more confusing than Jody, so I apologize in advance. I am Rec Tech Greg on Instagram. Boom. I am Greg Muller on Facebook yeah. and Chef Greg Muller on YouTube. You're also oh. Red Tech Greg on Twitter. Yes. Nah. I mean, I Thank you, own, Justin. I have my own YouTube channel coming up soon. Be ready yeah. for it. So I think I just eclipsed 1,200 followers on YouTube. What? I'd love to get that. Like My goal for 2019, 5,000 followers on YouTube. That's a lot. Congratulations. I think we can do it. Everybody go subscribe to Greg's YouTube channel. I think we can do it. subscribe to Greg's YouTube channel, If I tell you what, here's... And Rec Tech Rules uh, YouTube channel as well. All right, so it is January 11th. I tell you what, if I hit 5,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of 2019, I will make a custom knife, oh. and we will give it away on a Fun Day Friday segment uh, to all that's of those... That's like a $400 prize. Give or take. That, we'll do that now. That's, that's the deal. I'll make a knife. We'll Man. give it away on Fun Day Friday. 5,000 followers. Once I hit 5,000, we'll give it away. Like is it right? a knife like this? No. No, th that's, not gonna be this. That, that's probably like a $900 knife. Oh, okay. But we will make a, a fantastic. We actually, I'll tell you what. We'll show it to you next segment. We'll make Ooh. one like that. Ooh. You don't go to a concert wearing the band's shirt. Thank you. So Chef Greg does not use his own knives, everybody. I've had a set of custom knives made by a gentleman in Japan. This one is about 11 years old. Yep. Um, so he does not use his own knives, but myself, I have two. I own two. And a lot of the Rec Tech Nation uh, owns uh, some of Chef Greg's knives. Yeah. Second to uh, my wife and kids, they are priority. I'd probably say, like, my most prized possession. It's got to be my knife. Yeah. Got to be. Got to be. Uh, you can check out a knife roll uh, on the uh, staff pics of rectechrolls.com. Yeah. So what are we cutting with that knife? Nothing, I'm sorry. Jordan. We were just talking about it. Just talking about it. Uh, no, but we actually are about. because what we're going to do is we have these ocean perch fillets, and they have the skin on. I love eating fish skin. These are clean, and there are no scales to those. But to keep it from curling up on the grill, I'm going to put a little score mark on the back of that skin. And I'm just looking to open it up a little bit. You're not oh look, I got two notifications on Instagram. Instagram. Nope. Just lightly on top. Just scoring it, and that way when I put that fish on the flat side of the sear kit, they're not gonna curl up. Because if you don't score the skin, 
they're gonna curl up. This chicken looks great, show. I'm sure it does. That, uh, that uh, espresso Joe rub really gave it some great color. You guys mm. check that Ooh. out. Look at that Ooh. beautiful color on those uh, chicken Ooh. thighs. Ooh. God, I feel like I cook chicken thighs every day here. I love chicken thighs. Love them. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of our Asian persuasion. Hey! And we'll go on top of the fish and we'll flip it over. Now again, we've got that jalapeno, the onion, the cilantro, Man, some avocado good. oil. Chef, people seem to really enjoy that Asian persuasion on fish. Why do you think that is? So I think, honestly, the Asian persuasion is, I'm gonna say probably second to heifer dust. Well-rounded for everything. You can put it on chicken. I put it on briskets. I put it on pork butts. I put it on steak. It's a flavor profile that's very familiar, yet satisfying to a lot of our rec techers, yeah. rec techies out there. And a lot of stuff does not have that uh, granulated honey in it. And that honey adds, you know, instead of adding that, that sugar, um, the monosodium glutamate, you know, um, all and, of that stuff. And I love there. the fact that all of our rubs are MSG free. I love the fact that all of our rubs are gluten free. Made in America, and right I, here in Georgia. And I love the fact that Lane's Barbecue is the manufacturer of our rubs. Yeah. Ryan Lane, shout out. You guys Ryan are Lane, fantastic. Ryan Lane, love you. And Brian and Brian. And if you are in the Bethlehem, Georgia area on Fridays, they crush some briskets. Like they'll do a brisket biscuit with a fried egg and pimento cheese. Mm. You gotta sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Jody's famous. This is this is my your favorite one liner ever. What? Oh God, here we go. Oh, I know. There you go. I feel like I know. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. How are you doing? Like a hair in a. Hanging in there. God, I missed oh, it. Oh, come God. on, Wait, Greg. Try to get it. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Hey Greg, how are you doing today? Hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit. Like a hair in a biscuit, buddy. <laughs> but misses no beat with that. I love it. Yeah. Well, that's just it. a little southern <laughs> saying that I picked up. Shout out Charlie Moy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and sear these off on the bull's eye. Oh man. Greg, what uh what notch are you on? We are all the way wide open. We are sitting at all the six. way up. Nothing can suck. I'm we are sitting at up. 600 at the dome. And this is not gonna take very long. Watch that, see that skin kind of crisp up and tighten up? It's a great way to do blackened fish. Right <laughs> but again, the bullseye is the only pellet grill out there like it's not. It's the only pellet grill out there that is cool to cook with the lid open. You can cook with the lid open, guys. It's Ooh. okay. Uh, your your PID control is not going to get messed up. We'll just, you uh, know what? Let's leave, like it open. Open. Let's, Let's leave it open. open. We're going to cook this fish open. Uh, you were reading what temperature at the dome, Shane? We were 600 degrees at the dome. Oh, and then uh, the Rectech Bullseye is $3.99 delivered to your door. That's free shipping. It's got the 15-pound hopper. It's got the updated ceramic ignition system. There's a ceramic igniter that's rated for 100,000 cycles. 100,000 on-off cycles. That's once a day for over 300 years. It also has the porcelain coating on the outside. There's no uh, paint to fail or anything, so no paint to fail. Go ahead, Chef. It looks like you want to toss those yep. bad boys. I'm going to say, look, if you're looking for a really good <laughs> fish spatula, this is available on the, our Rectech Grills website under staff picks, under accessories. So you want to fish flip, spatula. You want to flip your fish, get a fish spatula. But I'm gonna let these go just another, just another little bit longer. Look at, look at that. It's getting there. Yeah, I use a fish spatula for everything. I love how uh, how it how it kind of moves and you can bend with it. So I'll get under a pork butt, lift it up. That's right. We'll let that go another minute or two and then we'll flip them. All right. So we'll check uh, out. We've got uh, the Trailblazer set on full and it's actually about 600 degrees on the inside. Uh, so we're gonna take this steak here and we're just gonna throw it on. Yeah, that's gonna see Absolutely, that's going to sear without the sear kit. It's actually hot enough. Well, Jordan, pellet, people that say pellet grills can't sear uh, obviously have never experienced the amazingness of the Rectech grill. So they're wrong. They are absolutely wrong because you are seeing it right here uh, live on Facebook um, right now. We are proving those people wrong. 600 degrees. We're going to go ahead and close this lid. That trail lid, do you see? That's an insulated lid, guys. Uh, you can hold these handles uh, at 600 degrees and it's not, look, it's not going to hurt your hand. Uh, that lid is insulated uh, to hold the heat in as well as protect you. Um, it also has the handle up there on top. This thing weighs 95 pounds, so you can put it in the back of your car. You can bring it out when you're fishing. 
when you're camping, uh, when you're doing those awesome things. The legs fold up. There's a bottom shelf on it. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, back uh, over here on the matador. Chef, is it on? No, it will be. You got a lighter? Okay. We're going to preheat this thing good hot. You're going to turn it on high? Yep. Awesome. And then you're going to use that avocado oil, right, yes, Chef? we are. So mise en place, okay? I've got my matador on. I've got my vegetables all ready to go. It's I've got French. my oil. I'm not walking away. If I need another beer, well, you ask the beer assistant. You don't leave the matador to go get it yourself. That's right. Okay. And Chef, and Chef for those uh, people who are just now joining us, Chef, Raymond uh, Collins, Laura Fresh. Fresh. Hey, what's up, Ray? What's up, Chef Ray? Hey, hey, Rec Tech Ranch. Um, but a mise en place, Chef. There are a lot of people out there that are just now joining us for the very first time. They're brand new Rec Tech owners. What Here's does mise en place mean? So mise en place, for all of those classically trained chefs out there, is basically getting everything in its place, okay? So I have my pan, I've got my utensil, I have my oil, I have my vegetables, I don't need to move, right? So in, in classical he's also approach, got what he's gonna put this food in uh, when we've it's got done our foil as well. He's always right got there. it very close to him as well. And what's really cool is if we wanted to, we can take that built-in windscreen that comes standard with the Matador. Now this is $1.99 shipped to your door. You can take that windscreen, put it on the table, put the Matador on the table as your serving dish. Wait, a windscreen is necessary, Chef, if you're out there and there's 20 mile per hour wind? Yeah. Absolutely. So with the competition, you actually have to pay extra for their windscreen. You actually have to pay extra for their adapter. You actually have to, they do not have carrying bags that ours come standard with. The uh, the, the uh, Matador is for $1.99, shipped right to your door. Free shipping comes standard with the carrying bags, comes standard with the adapter hose, it comes standard with the windscreen. That's a stainless steel pan that is never going to rust. It's going to last longer than you. Uh, they're going to be digging our bones up, and that Matador pan is going to be living, it's going to be right next to my bones because I'm going to be using it like a pillow. It's going to last longer than to I will. Rectech Excavation out there. Yeah, shout out to Rectech Excavation. Doing so, work. If you haven't seen our stories, was it? Wednesday? Guys, you missed yeah. an amazing, an amazing thing. We ran over our fire pot, the fire pot. Oh, wait, here it is. Is that it? Oh. The fire pot that is in the Trailblazer Stampede as well as the Bull with a uh, super Ready? heavy hacker roller. Come on. And the only thing that messed up was the lip. And the actual fire pot itself is thicker than the lip. Where do you get this in here? Look at that scissor. That's the sound of delicious. We're gonna leave it alone for just a minute. Get this fish off of here. And, and like you said, Chef, look at it curled right up. Look how it curled up, everybody. That's nuts. So we'll take this and we can break this apart for our amazing fish tacos. Yeah, we'll do it open the whole time. Whole time. Boom. Left the lid open the whole time, everybody. Go ahead. Let's hit this with some of our dirty girls. Again, Worcestershire powder, horseradish powder, salt, celery. Making it rain. Just in the camera. Look at those amazing vegetables. Mmm, smells good. We ready to uh, have some food for our kids, bro? Yes, sir. Do we have a spatula? Uh, negative. But let's get a spatula really quick, everybody. Somebody will hurry. Yeah. We use a no, no, like a, a, a rubber spatula. spatula. Rubber spatula. That way we don't look like idiots. Rubber spatula. We never look like dump idiots. Dump it in there. Like we always do. Maybe a spoon in there. Let's take a look at this rice. I think we're all great somebody else. Rice is close. Actually, hey, we can use this food. Okay. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and uh, dirty this queso. So you can see I've got our chorizo, our poblanos. It's all cooked, rendered out, kind of crispy. We'll add our cheese dip. And again, if you've got your Mexican melting cheese, you're going to mix that with whole milk. I'm going to go get the other container. You're just looking to warm that cheese up. If you've not tried this, people. Nope, just, uh, just a minute or two, because that cast iron pan will keep that queso hot. 
Make sure you got a nice foil on your drip pan. What? Look at our beans. Nice and thick. That juice is kind of, that water's rendered out. Check this rice. Look at the steam coming out. That rice. Go ahead and pull this. And now we'll leave this uncovered and we will let that rice pick up some smoke. So, Four minutes, I'll pull off that queso, another 10 minutes or so. That's gonna be done. Look at that color art. What do you mean ADA? I, see, I like my onions I you, just yeah. like that. It's beautiful. All right, so we will see you back. Such notification. We're not gonna tell you when, but it'll probably we be. We will be back. Hopefully about 30 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you. At the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Country's hit his limit. Country's hit his limit for the day. Country's hit his limit. But hey guys, how you doing? Had a little technical difficulty on segment four a little earlier of Fun Day Friday. Chef Greg has gone home a little early today, wasn't feeling too good. Um, but uh, we wanted to recap you because we were unable to do the recap a little earlier because of the technical difficulties. But as you can see, we made this amazing uh, taco table, which the whole entire staff absolutely demolished. We did have tacos lining the whole outside of the table, and we had a bunch of chips. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and accoutrement uh, blended in, but you can see they absolutely demolished it and it was amazing. Um, but don't worry, you guys can actually re watch the whole entire episode of Funday Friday on YouTube uh, in its entirety. So we encourage you to do that. Um, but it was today is January 11th, it is the episode number 77 of Funday Friday. And we made uh, today's episode was titled How to Throw a Tex Mex Fiesta. And I say that we absolutely knocked it out of the park. Um, go behind the scenes, go to our story, and make sure uh, that you watch all the videos and all of the uh, awesome photos uh, that we had such a great time doing earlier today. Uh, but again, today was titled How to Throw a Tex-Mex Fiesta. Uh, this food was absolutely amazing. My favorite has got to be the flour tortillas. Chef love the, loves these crappy tor corn tortillas. And they are just, I am not all about it. Uh, but, if, but again, flour tortillas taste better when they're warm. We warmed them up and they tasted okay, but they didn't taste as good as the flour tortilla. So I'm watching you corn tortilla people out there. But don't forget about our financing. We do offer financing now on rectechrules.com. So if you find yourself uh, in a little bit of a pinch, uh, paying for uh, that giant package that you built yourself, don't worry, we've got you on the financing side. Uh, don't forget about our big announcement on February 1st. Uh, I'm wanting to bring in all of our social media uh, uh, influencers out there. I want them to come in and cook, uh, but we're going to be cooking and bringing food off of the grills every hour on the hour on February 1st. Uh, we're making a huge, huge announcement uh, in addition to our product lineup. Don't forget the RT700, the Bulls are back in stock. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. Go to rectechgrills.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says um, become an insider. Just put your email and your first name and we will take care of the rest. Don't forget about our YouTube contest. We upload this entire episode in YouTube uh, and if you watch that in its entirety you can find out how to win yourself a Rectech prize pack. Don't forget Mail Day Monday. I open up a piece of mail from you every Monday. We do not pre-open it. It can be something crazy, and I did uh, ask uh, and reach out to the Rec Tech community and ask you for some crazy stuff. Send me some of your craziest. I can't believe I haven't been sent like a glitter bomb mm. or something to where I open it and it explodes with glitter everywhere. Just make it nuts, people. We want to go uh, viral, so y'all send me some crazy stuff. Um, Reddit, we episode, we upload a recipe to Reddit every, Reddit every Thursday. Sorry, we upload a recipe to Reddit every Thursday. We encourage you to check those out and share that and do whatever uh, it takes into that Reddit platform. We also upload a recipe every Monday to our website. We encourage you to do that. Don't forget to follow us on all social media and set your notifications. That way you know when we're going live. Rectech Nation, we love you. Thank you. Sorry about the technical difficulties, but we will see you at the Rectech. Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend. Be safe and we love you.